Hello. Hello. Welcome to episode 64 of the Mr. Courgette and Mr. DBSB Chili and Zombie Experience. Experience. Not quite as stilted as usual. Yeah, that's pretty no, good. That's yeah. We've had a lot of time to think about yeah. it. Yeah. Hi, right, it's been a little while. Um, yeah, but you know, there's a pandemic going on, isn't there? Yes, and Christmas. Yes, Christmas is a pandemic. Um, so we are back once again um, to tell you tales about zombie films and to sample chilies and let you know what we think. Yeah. So today, um, I don't have a thing because we are going to watch something on that there Netflix and we're going to watch episode one of a new series called All of Us Are Dead. Mm. Now, um, I have very deliberately not read too much up about this one. All I know is it is a zombie series in a high school. So, we're going to give episode one a try, potentially episode two, depending upon whether we just want to drink beer. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to talk about some chilli. So we have three things to sample here, because it's been a number of months since we've done it before, and not that I've been saving them up, but I thought, let's try lots of things. Yes. Let's see if I can kill DBSB with chilli. Ha ha. <laughs> so, first on the list, we have Haynes Candied Jalapenos. Mm. So... I like the idea of like sweet jalapenos to try. Yes, I, I recently um, I did I did try some oh. a little while back, but they were green jalapenos. Oh, I do like red jalapenos. Uh, you do. So I'm quite looking forward to this. I'm gonna try and open them. Okay. Oh, they smell very sweet and very jalapenoy. Yeah. I reckon this is a spoon job. So let's get some spoons on the go. Select your weapon. Thank you. Okay. So go for it. Let's see. They're looking very shiny and yeah. stuff. It is almost like Oh you can do better than that. Yeah. Come on. It's episode sixty four, it's like almost a landmark episode. There you go, that looks, right. that looks better. Yeah. Looking very Oh, um, very shiny, yeah, and like um, glacé cherries. Okay, well, candied jalapenos. Mm. Mm. Really sweet, and then the jalapeno taste cuts right through, and it is. Oh, that's really lovely. That is good. Mm. They'd be amazing in wraps. Yes, um, mm. I think they're a bit hotter than the. The other ones I had. Yep. Um, the other ones I had, I tried it on ice cream. Oh, get you! That'd be nice. Ooh. So I think maybe some of those just sprinkled mm. on a on a, on a vanilla. I think it'd need to be vanilla. Yeah. Or maybe a dark chocolate one. Or maybe a sorbet. Yes, sorbetti. Mm. I I think I'll go yeah. that definite win. Yeah. Yeah, very. So they taste. They're a lot yeah. hot. So we'll put up a link online. But yeah, Haynes does exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. Cool. So up next, from Haynes, noticing a thing. Yeah. We have candied jalapeno barbecue sauce. Noticing oh. a thing. So this one being a sauce, I think we should have it on something. So yeah. we have some some crackers here, which are whole grain three seed sweet potato crackers. So, give that a bit of a go. Oh, it looks so very. I, I was thinking it's going to be a bit more chutney like. Oh, it looks like very much like syrup, doesn't it? Oh. So, spoon. Yeah. yeah, it's very smooth. You can see there are bits in there. Yeah. Um. I, um, <coughs> I can smell the chili already. <laughs> A kind of very molassy, yeah, kind of looking thing. It does. It really looks like molasses, yeah. Oh, I can smell the sweetness. Yeah. Right. Definitely sweetness came through, but definitely a real savoury yeah. undercurrent there. Maybe I'm inferring okay. that from the biscuit. Yeah. Let's go. 
That is the sweetest hot sauce I have ever had in my life. Yeah, I think that would be for you making the sticky ribs kind mm. of thing. And yeah, that would be good definitely. for putting on, I reckon, oven, oven covering a tofu in that. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. roasting the tofu for a while. That could be quite, I, I think that would. So, we have done the experiment. We have uh, basted some tofu with Haynes candied jalapeno barbecue sauce. And here are the results. Yeah. Appetizing, with I'm sure you will say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get you in your garnish. Yeah. So um, this is purely tofu, corn flour, and candied bar jalapeno barbecue sauce because you know yeah, that's not too simple. much. Exactly. Um, we've just baked it in the oven for about half an hour ish, keeping it crispy as we yeah. can. So should we give it a try? Yeah. Definitely sticky. Definitely sticky. Yeah, and crispy. The sale. Yeah. 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 That's I think really that would work. That's really good. It's taking away some of the sweetness. I've left enough of the sweetness, but then the heat just has like a really mellow yeah. little line through there. Yeah, it's a and definitely a very the mellow. smokiness thing. just really comes through now. Mm. That's really nice. Mmm. Yeah. I think that works. It's a cooking thing, not a sauce thing. Yeah. Theory. Theory recognised. Mm, mm. Yeah. And then up last we have Joe's Barbecue Ring Smoking Sticky and Sweet Chili Sauce, which is a local one. Ah. Yeah. So exactly. I think I've seen him at the uh, at the open market. Yes, this is indeed where we bought this um, at the vegan fair at the open market in Brighton. So. Um, we actually bought about five of his hot sauces because they were so lovely and on a very empty stomach I tried lots of hot sauce and it was brilliant and I was running around like a maniac oh that smells lovely oh yeah mm. there's a definite smokiness there definite. but they are homegrown chilies we know this much but it just says various chilies that works for me Various chilies are on the Quite hot, is so there? A spoon. Thank you. A cracker. Um, I might try, try on the spoon, spoon and then on a cracker. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a definitely. I think there must be a hot, very hot chili in there. I can smell. I'm just getting the really nice smokiness coming through. Yeah, uh, yeah, the smokiness, but I can also smell the. Yes, yeah. the lurking danger. <laughs> Let's try the lurking danger. Mm, really smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is smooth. Mm, and then like, the heat just comes through at the end. Mm, that's yeah. really nice. Not too sweet. No. But no. yeah, that is something you could use as a sauce, not just yes. a cooking thing. Yeah. Really good burrito sauce, I reckon. It's got a building heat. Yep. Yeah. But a nice smooth building heat is not mm, like yeah. bam. It's yeah, really nice. Yeah, that's totally good. Yeah, try it on the me. cracker. Yeah. We're good for nachos. Mm, yeah. Mm, I'm a fan. That is Joe's Barbecue Ring Smoking Sticky and Sweet Chili Sauce. There you go. I really like the candied jalapenos. Yeah. I think. Um, surprisingly for me because I'm not really that much of a fan yeah. of sweet stuff but I think they would be uh, say a really good addition to like vanilla ice cream yeah. or something similar um, but I reckon that sauce would be a right winner on a burrito yeah I'm not so much a fan of this one just because uh, this, the real initial sweetness of it was a little bit much for me but as you say I'd like to try it on the sweet cooking I think that one excites me more because yeah. I think the thought of doing stuff with it yeah um, I like it when you get excited mm, I am very excited as you can see yeah but we've had some really good stuff I yeah think, yeah well I tell you what let's go and watch an episode and ruminate yes let's ruminate we will return and we're back 
So, uh, Mr. Quadget and DBSB are joined at this time by our special guest, Spice Weasel. Oh. So, Spice Weasel, how are you doing today? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So um, DBSB and I, um, while Spice Weasel has played with many dinosaurs, have been watching the first episode of All of Us Are Dead. Yes. So um, what was your verdict on All of Us Are Dead? Uh, it's, uh, I'm quite, uh, it's built up the characters. Yeah. Uh, and I know who the cliques are mm. in, the, in, the, in the gang, in the gangs of the school. In, is it yeah. it's set in Seoul? I think. Well, we know it. Okay, so as a backtrack, we know it's a, now it's a Korean high school zombie series. Yeah. The idea being um, of students being infected as zombies, and seeing how the zombie outbreak spreads throughout the school. Yeah. But also with that undercurrent of almost nineties feel high school zombie cliques. Lots of high school cliques. Yes. Yeah. With the, the yeah the cool the kids and, and the cool kids and, and the yeah geeks exactly and, and how the different groups cross over but not quite a bit like Clueless on that level. Yeah. I think. But um, yeah, I think it's really good so far. It's yes, been, it's it's yeah. got my interest peaked. Um, it started off quite quick. Yes. And then it did. It did have a big it's sort of, of slow back. down, yeah. and you know, get you got to get to know the characters, and yeah. then finished on a more quick. Yeah, and it's we know obviously it's a series, so we're not expecting it to be like all monotone pace. But yeah, started really quick, pulled back to a bit of a slow, and then builds to a crescendo for the end of the episode. So I yeah. get a feeling it's going to do the same, and you're going to cliffhanger each episode. What do you think? What's that? What's that? Yeah? Yeah? Apparently Triceratops are the best. Uh, no, I think you found Ankylosaurus. There's going to be a fight. <laughs> right. Ah. <laughs> 